Good morning, it's Anna Gibbs, and I am thrilled to have the opportunity to chat with you this morning. And uh, thank you for being here. Good morning to everybody on Facebook. Give me a shout out. I do try to follow along with you guys, so I know um, that you're there. So I love to see that you can join me. And um, good morning to everyone who's here on Zoom. That's always a good time too. So it is Monday morning, and it's time for another dose of Mojo. And um, I, I really am, excuse me, I'm really intentional about showing up in the world as an encourager, which is why I, I do this Monday Morning Mojo. And um, it's really um, so much fun and so inspiring for me to be able to connect with you and share whatever thoughts or wisdom or experiences I have with you, not only as a coach and a business leader, but just as another person traveling uh, this journey we call life. And being an encourager, I think, is something that has always come natural to me. And um, I wanted, I thought about it, and I wanted to really talk about it today on Monday Morning Mojo. And I think that um, the world has a lot of critics. <laughs> I think we can find judgment and criticism whenever we look for it, we'll find it. Um, but there is such an opportunity to be an encourager and for us to give it as well as to receive it. And I just wanna talk a little bit this morning about the effects it can have on our lives, as well as you know, maybe some ways that you can encourage other people. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm curious to know how many of you see yourselves as an encourager. So if you wanna put something on the chat here on Zoom or on Facebook, again, good morning, everybody. Um, I would love to know, do you see yourself as an encourager? Is that something that you are purposeful about, something that comes natural to you, or is this creating some new thoughts and ideas for you? And um, I think that you know research has proven that the brain acknowledges and, and functions at a much higher level when it hears positive words, right? And words are so important to us for our, not only our development, but for really how we're processing and seeing the world and for how we create filters and those words that we're hearing become oftentimes the words that we use. And uh, so I think that, you know, for us to understand this morning that the brain will function at a much higher level when it's processing positive words rather than negative words. So that's one opportunity with really being an encourager uh, because not only does the person receiving your encouragement hear it, but you're hearing it as well. Right, so if you're taking notes this morning, you might want to write that down. Um, I think that words have the power to either encourage or discourage. So if we could be more purposeful with our words and think about how we can encourage other people, what will that effect have on our lives? How will that make us better, better at what we're doing? How will that open our heart space up to receive more positivity in our world? And I think that the positive nature that we're looking for, right, is because it's an opportunity, not just to sit back and say, okay, I'm thinking positively, I'm speaking positively, I'm working to encourage other people, so all this great stuff's going to come at me. Um, I do think you can attract some, some things into your world based on your own mindset, for sure, but I think that what really starts to happen with being in that positive mindset and getting into the role of an encourager is that it changes what you're thinking. So it changes what you wanna do. And so we know that the actions are what create results. And so it's really that mindset is shaping our actions and that's really the opportunity. Um, and so I think that um, we, we know that sometimes we forget what other people have said to us, but we never forget the way it makes us feel. And so we, we can forget the words that people use but we never forget the way those words made us feel. So it's really, when you think about being encouraging, it's how are we helping other people to change their own energy and vibration, to change their own state of mind? So if you're with me on Zoom or you're with me on Facebook, let me know how this is connecting with you this morning, um, because I think that we all could use more encouragement. The world can be full of a lot of criticism and judgment, and sometimes it's just challenging, right? We have our everyday challenges, and so if we can take a moment to ask someone, and here's, here's one way you can be an encourager, uh, is just to ask someone, what can I do to help you? 
what can I do to help you? Or to just acknowledge someone's efforts and progress in any given area, right? So whether it's a coworker, a friend, your child, uh, it's really about being on this path to progress then rather than perfection, right? So if you can recognize that someone is trying and moving forward and making progress, do you acknowledge it? Do you give them a thumbs up? Do you say, hey, I just want you to know I've noticed how hard you're working on this, or I've noticed the progress that you're making, and I just want to say good job, right? So I think that um, encouragement is, is a resource available to every one of us, right? But do we, do we use it? And if we were to use it more, how would our lives change? So, and, and I get that encouragement for a lot of us may not come naturally. Uh, and that, you know, we may not have enough time to get into that this morning, but it could come from a lot of your own programming and what you may or may not have heard as, as a child growing up to. Um, and to all the parents out there, I just say myself included, you know, we all did the best we could with what we had at that moment. <laughs> and with the knowledge and resources that we had available to us. Um, but as we do know more, we can do more. Uh, so I realized that for some of us, encouragement or this act of being an encourager may not come as natural for, for, for a lot of us. Um, but it's something that I think we can become more aware of and learn to do. And it could start with just a smile, right? And just being more aware of how we are traveling through our day and what we look like. I mean, have you ever caught your reflection in the rear view mirror of your car and, and been startled to see what you look like driving around? I know I have. Um, and so just having that awareness of, of being able to put out that energy through a smile <clears throat> can be encouraging. Um, you know, when you're out to eat or you're um, in a store and someone is there to take care of you, encourage them with a smile, you know, because that is a nonverbal way to say, thank you, um, you're doing a good job, I appreciate you. I mean, the power of a smile is immense. I think, again, like I said, you know, using words of encouragement um, and probably the easiest one is a thank you, just to say thank you, um, to say something along the lines, I see and recognize what you're doing and I appreciate you. Um, you know, that, that can make a huge difference, not only in someone's day, but perhaps in, in you know, really more of, of their mindset for that, for that day as well. Um, we've talked a lot about gratitude of, over the last 18 months here on Mojo. And so gratitude is a form of encouragement. When you show your gratitude, you're acknowledging, but you're also encouraging someone to continue doing whatever they're doing because clearly it's well-received or clearly it's working. So in, in your daily practice, how are you expressing gratitude, right? Is it verbal, is it written? So these are all ways you can show up as an encourager. Um, and of course, you know, sharing uh, compliments, as I said. You know, uh, just to put this into context in the workplace, I think that this is a huge opportunity, especially on a Monday morning, to ask yourself, do I wanna make this my mission for the week? Do I want to take a few minutes and recognize some people around me at work? Uh, and it doesn't matter who they are, honestly. It could be your peers, it could be someone who's on your team, someone who maybe you're leading or managing, maybe it's even your own manager. Um, because if you were to take a moment and just recognize the contributions that your team is making, the progress that they've made, the growth that, they, that you've seen, uh, you know, a, a good job on a project or getting something in on time or before a deadline. Um, do we take the time to say more than just thank you and just to take the time to say, I appreciate you getting this to me on time, or I just want you to know, I am so excited to see the growth in you over these last three months. Um, or to say to your boss, um, I appreciate you, and I just wanted you to. I just want you to know I'm grateful for your leadership, or I'm grateful for how you have helped me to grow. Um, I think that is such a huge opportunity to connect. Um, and I'll just say, you know, being someone who's in leadership and uh, leading a 
a large group of people, whenever someone takes the time to say thank you to me or acknowledge what I'm contributing or how I'm leading, um, it just sets my heart on fire. And it's certainly an opportunity for me to connect with them, but to see that what I'm doing is not just valuable or recognized, but that it's working, right? And so we all need those words of encouragement. So encouragement, I guess what I'm trying to say is it shouldn't just flow down. It should just flow. It should flow up. It should flow down, flow across. Um, and in our own families, what are we doing to recognize uh, the, the people who we love the most and how we're watching them grow and how we, you know, and more than just saying, you know, thank you for emptying the dishwasher, but to, to take a moment and to acknowledge something about them as a person and to encourage them to continue to seek out new new things, new possibilities, new growth opportunities. Um, and, you know, I think even as I'm talking to you this morning, I'm saying to myself, there's so much more I could do in this area for the people that I love. So I just thought that encouragement was a great topic. I'm going to pause here for a second and just ask anyone who might be on Zoom or on Facebook, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions about this, is this something that um, is resonating with you and how? Hey, Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Anna. It's so interesting that you brought up gratitude because I was j just like 30 seconds before you said that, I was thinking gratitude. <laughs> yeah, it's a form of encouragement, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it has made such a difference in my life. I'd like every night before I go to sleep, I think of all the things that I'm grateful for. That's awesome. So, um, and I, and I think that we can all acknowledge that as we do that more and more, it just builds, right? So you actually look for things throughout the day to connect that gratitude, you know, to. I never got that before, but I really get it now. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. So absolutely. Thank you. So in case some of you are looking for ways to, uh, if this is inspiring you and you're looking for ways to be more of an encourager, let me give you a couple couple things and uh, feel free to write these down so that you can decide what you want to put into action. Um, so I think, first of all, we have to be present. That's, that's number one. Like if we are always running faster than the speed of light through our day and through any meeting or activity or interaction with someone, we're gonna miss those opportunities to connect on more of that, as I call emotional or in that heart space, right? Because I think, and, and I'm in this category too, a lot of times I'm so in here because of what we're looking to accomplish or build or, or um, you know, create in our world and our careers uh, that it, in order for us to really be an encourager, we have to see what's happening around us. We have to be aware of it. And we have to connect with each other more in that hard space. So that's the first thing I would say is to really bring your awareness to this and to the people around you, right? So that's important. Um, I think that it's also, um, if you're looking to be more of an encourager, realize that in order for us to encourage other people, we have to see our own, gro our own growth and development. We have to see and recognize our own accomplishments because what we see in ourselves does become that mirror out and, and vice versa. And so as you recognize other people's accomplishments or growth or uh, contributions or, or just something that they're doing well, I think that it helps you to see that more in yourself. So it does create that mirror effect. And I think that it's about having this perspective around wanting to encourage rather than discourage, right? So being an encourager or, or sharing encouragement is building confidence in the other person. And so I think we have to connect with that act of wanting to build someone up uh, rather than to always find what's wrong with a situation or maybe even with someone's behavior. Um, and so this is really about being, um, able to really, I think, bring in that energy around confidence rather than looking at what the problems are. And I've said this before on Mojo too, you know, complaining is a garbage magnet, right? Because whatever we focus on expands. So as we focus on more of the positive things happening around us, suddenly I think we see more of that. Uh, and so that can become an amazing ripple effect in, in everything that we're doing. The other thing I'm going to say is don't be self-conscious about this. Don't be afraid 
to uh, to really engage and, and share words of encouragement uh, or to share your gratitude or to you know get into the habit of acknowledging. Um, some of us can get self-conscious about this. Um, and if you want, you can try a little experiment today and try it out out in the public. You know, make a make a point to go out and grab coffee this morning or uh, you know, be around some people who are providing service. And really put yourself in that mode of encouragement and just say, hey, thank you for that. You're doing a great job. And try it out on, on, on people who are there to support you and to, to serve you. Uh, sometimes it's easier to do that with strangers than it is for the people that we know. So that's an opportunity as well. Um, and I think to be an encourager, just like um, I've talked about in order to be a leader, um, you know, you have to lead by example, which means that you have to embody that the characteristics of an encourager, right? So I think that you have to, I think as you embrace pos possibility and you embrace positivity in your own outlook on life, in your own actions, in your own intentions every day, your energy is put out there and that becomes, you know, an attraction factor for other people. So you really become someone who represents encouragement and positivity. And I think that that is what will attract people to you also. Um, and so that, that does a lot to also put you in that state and in that space so that it's a connection with other people. Um, and I think that, you know, again, there's a lot of opportunity for us to just enjoy the little things, to support each other in that, uh, to know that one small thought can change your entire day or morning. And so as you're thinking, right, I think a lot of us can be very cerebral. And as we are thinking and growing and becoming someone who wants to live life um, at a really high level or design this really great positive life, let's not just keep it to ourselves, right? Let's be someone who can emit that energy and vibration outward and attract more people towards you. And that is the encouraging spirit. That's where it starts, right? So as you are on this journey of personal development, which I know you are, just why you hang out with me, um, then I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna encourage you not to keep it to yourself. Uh, be someone who is willing to teach and share and help other people grow and support them as well. Um, I'm going to share some, some tools and resources around this whole topic of encouragement on, on the uh, Mojo page. And, um, you know, as always, we, we don't have a lot of time together every Monday morning, but I, I trust that what we talk about here creates some thoughts for you. It, it, it gives you pause, maybe asking you some questions and gives you an opportunity to decide if this is something that you want to implement in your world. So I'm gonna share some uh, questions that you might wanna journal. I'm gonna share some thoughts around encouragement. How does it play out in your life, in your career, in the workplace, at home? Uh, and always, I'm, I'm here to you know, chat with you if you wanna uh, use the Facebook page as a forum for that, if you wanna reach out to me. But um, I think that, again, it's such a, an easy way for us to see our own growth and development and to open up our heart space where we can connect with other people around, you know, how do we encourage? Because when we don't take responsibility for our words and our actions, uh, we can either, you know, inadvertently or maybe even sometimes purposefully uh, break someone down a little and break their spirits. And, you know, if we're looking to create change and if we're looking to live in, in a really positive state of mind or if we want to embrace the possibilities that life has, then we have to do our part to turn our focus to where it matters most. And so the, and this is really one way to do that. So I, um, I trust that this has been encouraging to you and inspiring to you. Um, and as always, if you find value in anything that we talk about here on Mojo or any of the resources that are shared on the Facebook page, Please invite other people to participate, share the group with them, invite them to become members. You all have the ability to do that. Share the Zoom link, invite them to listen to this on Monday morning. 
Uh, as always, the replay will be on the Facebook page and, and the videos are shared there too. You can find all the videos for all the Monday Morning Mojo sessions on my YouTube channel as well. And um, I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me on Monday morning. Um, and uh, I, I hope that you have an awesome day and a great week and find a way to encourage another human being today. All right, everyone. I love you and enjoy the week. Talk to you soon.